It's time for something new. Hmm, yes, these systems seem quite intelligent. <gasps> is this what I think it is? I think it is. Um, <laughs> oh my so god. So today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. Tell me. Well, uh, let me just go ahead and open this. Well, it was an awfully long time ago. Like, <laughs> terribly long time ago. In a strange and far off land. Woo! Very, very pretty village. Oh, it looks so nice. Back Wealthy. in the days when uh, Nintendo was in the 60s, just starting their video game consoles. <laughs> oh, great cataclysm. That must have been the crash. Oh! Oh, oh that, no! That's a hell of a cataclysm. Oh, no! The very world had come to a violent end. And just, just like that, town's gone. Oh no, it shared the same fate as Hyrule on this exact same console. Uh, well, yes. Yes, it did. Yes. Nintendo really wanted to sync their own franchises, and it turns out they made the best games in the series. Yeah, Oops. because this game is so buried. It's only available on GameCube still. And no re-releases, no mention. I don't, think, I don't even think Nintendo knows it exists anymore. I can't find a copy! It's, it's just gone. It's the only Paper Mario I don't have! So, there is a magnificent treasure somewhere in the long-forgotten ruins of this long-forgotten kingdom, and hmm. they, they, they built a slum full of criminals on top of it. Oh. So the quest for the Thousand Year Door starts here. Awesome! Nukes in the center of town. Ooh, that was a nice crossfade. Yes. <laughs> Poor Toadsworth. So Princess Peach is on vacation, and she decides to come to this place. Why? Princess, it's a place full of rogues. That's why it's uh, called Rogue'sport. The, well, for the record, uh, this is just a pit stop on their vacation. Oh, okay. Yeah, very distinct flavor. It tastes like <laughs> rust and cayenne pepper. Oh, well, one of the local gypsies. Oh, I wasn't too far off. Fawful? <laughs> oh my god, please cross over. Oh wait, they already have. Well, it can't be a crossover, it's the same kind. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. It's a Chinese puzzle box. Good luck opening it. Well, I'm not going to be able to open that box. Mm-mm. Can't do it. What if it's like, you know, a, like like a trick? It's like, it will only open for one who is a pure at heart. It will... Oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> I mean, uh... It also makes Julian fries. It will not break. It broke. Ooh. Julian fries. Oh. Okay. Well, this isn't a trick. Do it, Peach. Open the box! Whoa! Oh my god, it opened! <clears throat> well, welcome to Paper Mario Woo! The Thousand Year Door! Yes! <laughs> awesome! I'm really excited to get into this one because this is probably the best Paper Mario game, probably one of the best Mario games ever made. So much personality, so much color and variety, and it's just. This is gonna be one hell of an adventure, folks, so, uh. Go ahead and uh, sit tight and just let the adventure unfold. Awesome. And seeing as how I've never played any Paper Mario past the first one and I didn't even beat that one, uh, this should be fun. Now, uh, I do have to ask this of you because I know you're probably going to get a question or two about it. Uh huh. Why aren't we starting with the first one? Because, A, I haven't played the first one, B, it's not as good, and uh, C, this is the best one. Oh, okay. In the whole series. No. No! <laughs> it's also kind of a sequel to our Super Mario RPG Let's Play, I'd That's say. That's so right! So with the same name, why not? That's great. Uh, that is great. They thought of that. It's like Besides, one day in the future. Perfectly. One day in the future, we will need eight characters. I wonder who lives here. Hmm. I think it's that green guy.
Oh, mail's in. How do you make paper yeah. look this good? The guy who lives here is obviously Luigi. Hey, I was right! Yeah, I just want to hit my mailbox and have the mail come out. It's an automatic dispenser. It's a letter from Princess Peach! Imagine that! Hey, isn't this how the first Paper Mario started? Uh, maybe. Let's see. I'm All trapped right. in- I'm trapped inside a puzzle box. Please help. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually! Ooh. Oh, that was, that's what was in the box. It was inside a box yeah, from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. Since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, as 2004, mind you, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> so, I sent the map to you, so when oh, you come what? to Rogueport, bring it with you. <laughs> that means you have to come! Aw, oh, she just trapped us. Uh, uh, Alright, I guess she's forcing us to start the video game plot. Let's go. Okay, that's fair. Hey, do you remember Mario RPG writing being this good? I don't. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I do yeah, now, anyway. It's always been good. Except for the later Paper Mario games. Ooh! So this is our map. Grassland. Off we go! Grassland, ice, desert, fire. Uh, Welcome once again to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Tour! <laughs> <laughs> just, got, just gotta let you know. It's protecting us from looking directly into the paper sun, you see. Yes. Oh, I love Phantom Hourglass. Let's go. Oh, all right, yeah. Do 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 do. I, hate, I hated Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> A lot of people did. Hated it. So this starts our prologue chapter. Oh wow. A rogue's welcome. I wonder if Bowser's going to be a part of that rogue welcome. You never know. Let's find out. Off we go. <laughs> Here we go. Or let's a go. Um, I believe you have my stapler. Focus. Focus. And, and oh, there we go. Okay. Brush the sleepies out of your eyes. Well, here we are, the sleepy, criminal-infested town of Rogueport. I never thought we'd see a first-person perspective for Mario. Specifically, Paper Mario. Sorted Tales. This place can't be that bad, can it? Nah. It's just a place called Rogueport. I mean, we could have gone to Assassin Embar eh, Embargo there, the other uh, island back. It's, yeah, it's not as bad as Pedophile Port. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. That went from 2D to 3D and then back to 2D. That's great. So here we are in the town of Rogueport. Well, the port of Rogueport. You can move jump around, in the water. Can jump. Not really, you know, big jump as Mario's used to, but we got here a save block. I'm sure you know what a save block does. Does it fully heal you? It does not. Oh. It only saves your game. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll just uh, save everything up to this point and get ourselves a uh, get a file started. Memory Talk card to some full. People. Hear that? We got guts. You look a bit green. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Well, I already saved, so thanks for that. I like how Mario waves hi. <laughs> He's talking to people. <laughs> well, both, okay? <laughs> I don't but owe her much. Uh-oh. Airhead? Oh! I think we should probably step in here at some point, yeah? I'm down for that. 
This guy looks like he can uh, rough her up a bit, so let's rough <laughs> him up right back. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of reminds me of old Eggman. It's like Eggman mixed with, like, Johnny from Sonic Rush Adventure. <laughs> 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 a lot of great characters in this game. And that's not even including the ones that join your party. Okay. Oh, do you know who I am? Uh, <laughs> I guess I will screw up your plans. Mario, the one not wanting to cause trouble. Oh, there we go. You can't flee but, this fight. I've also heard you can't lose this fight. It's probably really hard to do so. I mean, this is your basic tutorial fight. So we got two methods of attack. We can jump on him and hammer him. So we'll, we got jump, hammer, items, and tactics. Which was hmm. defend or run away, which as we know we can't do. So we'll start by jumping on him. Just got a bonk right and bonk right there. If you played the first Paper Mario, it's basically the same thing. So it still has the double attacks, and you can also block, I assume. Pretty much. We'll get there, though. So we'll go with the hammer next. You gotta hold left, and boop. Nice. Just like that. Ow. Uh, don't have any items right now. So I guess we'll just jump in them again. Boop. There, there we go. We did it! They still do the spin thing. We beat the game! So star points are basically your EXP. You get 100, you go up a level, and you can buff up your stats. Easy enough. Oh, he still does the hat thing, too. <laughs> Every time this guy comes on screen, I just want him to start with. <laughs> Let's go, time, huh? Uh, uh, oh, oh uh my uh -oh. god! Uh oh. Uh, Can we not? Uh oh. Oh, she's ah! oh no! <laughs> we got flat. Man, that's violent. Oh well. Okay. Well, um, they they, they can do all that over there, I guess, and uh, I guess we'll just, just make just, our way up the stairs. Yeah, and, just that. Uh, uh, I mean, they're they're doing their own thing. Might as well just let see them. See you later. Oh, they're beating up on him. Please. Oh. Dang, they got away in the kerfuffle! I didn't even know who we were fighting! Well, crisis averted. For you. This place is dangerous. The first screen, we get it, we get gang jumped by a whole <laughs> bunch of. Sheesh. It's fabulous. Aww. Right. So that's uh, time number one that Mario gets a kiss. The player Mario. Oh, yeah. He really uh, puts the player in player character, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Luigi puts the player in player two, never used. <laughs> oh, thank you. The self awareness is here. Oh. This game is all full of self awareness. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. no! Piantas! There's some goons back there. And notice they showed up when we started talking about the map. This is so great. There's background comedy. Oh, it's Toadsworth! <laughs> oh my god! Guys are being roughed up back there. A dub boss sends his greetings. <laughs> I think we just saw a hit. I think we did No, he's okay, though. <laughs> Man, this place is dangerous. That was so good! Jeez.
Hey, Toadsworth, did you happen to hear somebody get roughed up behind us, or was that just by imagination? I decided to ignore it. They're beneath me, if you please, Master Mario. So they just stopped in to get gas for their ship. Princess Peach went out for just a couple minutes, and now she's fucking gone. Toadsworth, this is the second time on the GameCube that you looked away and she got taken. Is that why he's not part of the Mario series anymore? I don't know, I miss Toadsworth. He was really funny. It's really, uh, inconsequential, though. I mean... I don't know, he played a huge role in Partners in Time, let me tell you what. Well, maybe he passed. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. He looks old, like, really old. I'd like to think as, of Toadsworth as, like, the Scrooge McDuck. Except without all the money. He's there, <laughs> always there for an adventure. And he's a mushroom, not a duck. Well... Quack. Whatever sound effect you want to use. For a duck, quack usually works. <laughs> so what's the sound effect for a mushroom? Mushroom. Hello! Oh, yeah, that works too. <laughs> I can't wait to hear plenty of that. So where the hell did Peach go? She sent us a map. She's supposed to he be here for us when we came here. Now she's not here. Hmm. So, hmm. Well. Goombella's here got uh, her professor in town. We'll take the map to her professor, and we'll see if we can't figure things out. Hmm. First party member. Goombella's freaking awesome. I love her. A primer. So you press X and she basically tells you everything oh. about anything. Like when you go talk to somebody, you can press X and she'll tell you about that person. Something that I kind of missed my first time playing. Oh, which, wow. Which was like, what, back in 2005? So like 15 years ago. Holy crap, that's awesome. Well, yeah, of course a Goomba would get mugged. He has no arms to fight back. Oh, that's fabulous. So you can get information on everyone? Just about. Oh, can we talk to one of, like, one of the mice? And, by the way, good on you, Nintendo, for putting the masked mice in the rogue port. Well, I don't want to talk to everybody in the whole game, because we'll be here forever, but... Well, that's fair. But we'll talk to some people here and there. We'll get a few info pieces here and there. <laughs> Let's find Professor Frankly <laughs> and uh, show him the map and uh, start our adventure proper. But uh, right now, my HP's looking a little low, so... Uh... I give yeah, you advice example. and stuff. Press an X to talk to somebody. Okay, teach me about something. If you press Z, you can check your current HP. Oh, okay. Let's press the Z button there and... Oh, look at that! Hey, look at that! Sweet! Yeah. Bring it up, put it down. Thanks, Goomb! All right, let's head into the end real quick. Give it a look. Oh, I love the transitions! Ooh, it's a burr! Yes. Ooh, that's a nice jewel. Ooh, I want it. This Hi, is Flavio. He'll be a character later on in the game. I was about to say it's Fawful's cousin, Awful. <laughs> so if you want to head to the end, you gotta head on upstairs. There's Toesworth. This is the lady we talked to, and we want to heal our HP. Hmm. You got a hundred coins to start out with. We'll go oh, ahead and five use five coins. to stay. Of course. And because he's paper, he just kind of slides into bed. I'm glad that hasn't changed. Loading. All right. And it's been a day, and Princess Peach still hasn't come back yet, so, uh, yeah, it's quite troubling indeed. 
I love so, how Mario's first inclination in Rogueport is to get into bed with a student. <laughs> Jeez. Good job, man. Uh, have I saved yet? Yes, yes, I know about saving. Thank you. I, I would love it if you walked out of Rogueport and the difficulty spiked 90 degrees. Well, fine, if the game's gonna give me so much crap, I'll just go ahead and save then. Hey, did you know you should probably save? I did not know! Whoa! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> a thief! Or, sorry, a bandit! No, you're right. Oh, he took the map! He took half of our coins! <gasps> what?! No! What? Are you kidding me? Chase him down! You got it! Where'd he go? Where'd the, that motherfucker go? Ah, let's see. Go this way. Nah, I didn't go that way. Any of you guys see here. a bandit around here? Yeah, back here in these back streets is where a thieving bandit piece of crap would go. Anything over here? Nah, doesn't look like it. Can't really jump on those barrels over there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Ah, there he is! Aha! Hey! You live in a fucking dump, pal! Uh, fancy reading you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Mario gonna have to break us a kneecaps! Oh, oh please, no! I was just trying to pay off my tuition! At least he oh, gave it back. We got our money back, so that's good. Right, let's go. So that's an optional thing, right? I think, like, I think, you know, anytime you go back there, he'll be like, oh, hey, and then he hands you back your coins. But, mm, uh, okay. I need my coins, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep them. Oh, wow. That's the game's way of saying you should explore a bit. Maybe a little. That's but fabulous. But not too much. Oh. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I can take you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, we just started the game, but yeah, we can take on this, this, uh, sentry, Oh my no god, problem, yeah? you actually are fighting. Okay, bring it! Well, I'm gonna hammer him because I can tell that that spear is gonna be very, very owie on my feet. Oh, right, you do have to think about that. So, what Goombella can do is that she can tattle, basically. Yeah, line up the icons there, and she'll give you, basically, <gasps> everything about, oh. the, about, the, about the anime. His HP, his attack, his defense, everything. Little tips here and there. Wow. Pointy spear hurts if you stomp on it, as I figured. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh! -oh. Ow. uh Oh, that's really painful. That is really painful. Block it. Hmm. Oh, and it actually shows their HP. That's Perfect. not gonna go well because yeah, the head bonk ah! hurts her and yeah. Block it! This, hey, there we go. This was a mistake. So this is the game saying, this is a bad idea, you should run, otherwise you will totally oh, get a game over seriously. That's amazing. So, alright, if the game's flat out telling me to do that, I think we might as well, uh, do that. And that's how you run from a fight. But now I gotta go back to the fucking inn again. Go heal my HP again. So let's go do that. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's like organic gameplay or some shit. Like a, th th this is the best in the series, by far. Oh, well, so far so good. Pop in oh. bed with a student again. Round two. S scandal, scandal. Did you hear Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom? Can we cancel him? <laughs> he went to Rogueport and everything went to shit. Hashtag me too, woohoo. <laughs> Wahoo, please. Wahoo, right. Because yeah, at that point, it sounds like he's celebrating it. Well, let's go ahead and uh, look for the uh, the professor. Is, is he in this uh, Shine Sprite place? Ooh. Oh. 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 
Uh... Would you like to perform a seance? Oh. Three shine oh. sprites. We don't have any shine sprites, so we'll come back later. You can collect shine sprites? Wow. Um, this door is... Oh, there he is. Hey! It's like E. Gat if he were a Goomba. I was just about to say, can I, I can imagine a conversation between him and Egad. And then if you put it all together, it's Professor, frankly, Egad. Let's be honest, I think frankly is the uh, much more intellectual of the two professors. <laughs> Accessing logs? You're Stacy! Got it! Hey, there we go. He never forgets a student. Eventually. He'll eventually get it. <laughs> it just takes three tries. Let me look at those books. He must know a lot. He's gotta, like, you know, use super fetch <laughs> to go back there. Of course, he doesn't know us. You know, that Mario, the one that is known around the world, people oh! know him more than they know his creator. Carl, right? It's fantastic. Carl was one of Mario's really old names before he got the name Mario. Oof. Like he was known as Jumpman and Carl, seriously. Ugh. I'm glad Mario stuck. Because you know, the year that Carl Brothers came out, every kid was going to be named Carl. <laughs> Gotta find that treasure. But about this treasure, we don't know what it is. Is it a treasure hoard? A magical item? A, a, a monster? An empty Ooh. chest? A comfortable pair of underwear? A so many different couple theories. Of Toblerones? Who knows? <laughs> it's the map to Pandora's box. It just goes from box to box to box to box. Or maybe it's one of those metaphorical treasures, like, you know, the treasure was inside you all along! Oh my god! I feel so friendly with everyone! So we gotta go to the... We gotta go to the altar of the Thousand Year Door, hold up the mm -hmm. magic map, the magic map will tell us where the crystal stars are, so we can open the Thousand Year Door and go find that treasure. You know, I never understood why it's always... Seven. Stars. Like, I understand the star thing, because that just goes with Mario, but... Seven? It's a nice number. More than six, less than eight. What? <laughs> the map <laughs> turned him into a bumbler. <laughs> Can I look at the map, please? Here's the map. It's a good thing that Princess Peach happened to find this really illustrious, uh, impossible-to-find map just on a trip to the market for the first time ever. You say you found this from a fruit? That's weird! And so our second party member! <laughs> so, uh, oh. okay, let's go. Frankly, is not a party member. Damn. No way. <laughs> so down this pipe, underneath the city, is a thousand year door. Oh. What? Oh. You should save! Oh, okay. Action, action commands. Uh, yeah, we know. We know about those. Yes, action commands. That's what they're called. No. Uh, all right, fine. <laughs> Tutorial time. Maybe they'll teach us something that we don't know. This means you have to learn the tells of every single enemy. It's basically a hybrid between the original Mario RPG and Mario and Luigi. 
well, under, you know, the Paper Mario uh, template, pretty much. So, yeah, we, we know this stuff. Press A just right here, and then bonk, bank. There you go. But you can also defend by hitting A right there and knock him off. So you take reduced or no damage. Okay. Hammer, we know how that works. You know, just hold it to the left. You know, we, we know this. Uh, you. Nothing to it. But there's a she second accidentally... defense as well. <laughs> she starts spinning around and explodes into experience. Oh, no! So if you press B instead of A, which is... Which has a bit of a tighter window, Whoa. you can take even less damage and even hurt them in the process. Interesting. It's a super guard. Ooh. Oh, guaranteed no damage. Wow. But again, the window is a lot tighter. I learned something. So at least we got all that. Yeah, yeah, well, just hop into the pipe, press it down, and down the pipe we go. Ah! And just like that, our adventure begins proper next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. That was a good primer. Go ahead and save here, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>